quick checks. Aileron. Left, right, up, down. Left rudder, right rudder. Throttle cut off. Throttle cut on. Okay. Turn on the onboard video camera. So guys, if anybody's actually watching this, I just got a uh, head mount for the GoPro. So this will be my first time uh, trying to film my own flying from a camera mounted on me head. It's not going to zoom in or anything like that, but it should, you know, as I turn my head left and right, it should, should pan nicely and, and follow the plane. So. Flaps 50%. Flaps full. Flaps zero. I didn't, didn't check the flaps on the pre-flight, but we got it at the last minute. I don't know why I'm carrying this plane. It, it's perfectly happy on the grass. Flaps 50%. Go to take off flaps and we're just going to throttle cut off. Turn off the throttle cut and we're just going to yank it off the ground right here. That's about half throttle with this uh, Turbo Timber Evo. It's not a speedy plane, but it's definitely not a slow plane. Time remaining five minutes. Unless you want it to be. You get those flaps down and get it high alpha, it's going to slow down a lot. Speaking of which, let's dro drop the flaps all the way down. Lose a little altitude here, and then we'll do a little bit of slow flying. See what that looks like. There is some slow flying for you. Not even high alpha, just normal cruising around slow. If I really yank that elevator up, I could probably get it a lot slower. So let's, there we go, a little stall. Flaps 50%, flaps zero. Time remaining four minutes. Four minutes, I'm already getting tired. It's a really nice little flying plane. I brought one of my jets with me today also, which I'll probably bring out in, after this, but I just wanted to uh, have something really relaxing and easy to test this uh, GoPro setup on my head. Time remaining three minutes. Well, there's no wind here at all, so I guess it doesn't matter which way I come in for landings. But I'm going to practice a couple of approaches here. Flaps 50%. Throttle down to almost Flaps nothing. Full. Flaps 
50%, flaps zero. The only thing I don't like about this flying field here is the runway. It's about 10 feet wide maybe. And uh, there's a lot of grass out here, so I usually just land on the grass. It's a um, little, Flaps 50%. little Flaps fall. less stressful than trying to land, line up on the runway every single time. But I'm doing it now just for practice. But when I do land, I'll probably land on the grass. And the grass has the I'm added bonus. Oh, you be quiet. Uh, the grass has the added bonus of acting like brakes. Flaps zero. Slows the plane down real nice as soon as it lands. So I think I'm going to Flaps 50%. go ahead and make this the, uh, the landing if everything Flaps looks good. Fall. If everything doesn't look good, I'll go around and try again. Remember, you never have to land. Unless your engine's out, then you have to land. But everything should look right. And I'm a little fast. Flaps 50%. So what we do is we just go around. No law against that. I can't believe I'm standing out here by myself talking to a camera. Flaps full. That's mounted on my damn head. Okay. I have a feeling this is gonna be I'm gonna be a little fast on this approach too, but we got a lot of runway here, a lot of grass. So we'll just uh, do it anyways. If it feels right, yeah, it feels good. There we go. Flap zero. Another, One minute. Another successful flight on the timber. Turbo Timber Evo, to be exact. And there we go. Throttle cut on. Throttle cut on. Okay, we got the uh, Viper out. Um, this will probably be... I have a timer set for five minutes, but I never fly this that long. Probably about three minutes and I'll be good. Okay, left, no, that's left, that's right, <laughs> left, right, okay, up, down, left rudder, right rudder, right nose wheel, left nose wheel. Timer stop, timer stop. Okay, throttle cut. Flaps 50%, flaps full, flaps 50%, flaps zero. Okay. Now I've put uh, new landing gear on this plane, the uh, landing gear that came with it. It's not great. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. Um, so hopefully I've done everything right and the plane is ready to go. This one could probably taxi on this grass too, but I'm just going to go ahead and carry it out to the runway and do this properly. Now, like I said, this runway, in the last video, I said this runway is very narrow. So, don't judge me too much if I wander off center line or possibly even off the runway before I take off. But I'll do my best. Last 50%. Okay. Timer stop. Throttle cut is off. Timer, timer stop. Okay. Take off flaps are set. Here we go. Timer start. Gear up. Flap zero. That was a decent takeoff. It stayed on the runway.
Put a little power in. Put all the power in. Time remaining four minutes. As a hot rod. And we'll do a slow pass, flaps up, slow-ish. It's a nice flying plane, fast and slow. And that's pretty slow. We'll Time remaining three minutes. Three minutes, okay. Which to me is about one or two minutes. Play it safe. So here we are at 50% flaps, about 50% throttle. Just cruising along. We'll go back around, keeping the flaps down halfway. And then I'll throw in the last bit of flap and see what she looks like. And then we'll start thinking about landing. It's a really fun plane, but it starts to get a little nerve-wracking when you're up here too long and you're wondering how much time you've got left. There's a full flat pass. Flaps 50%. I really wish I could ask my radio how much battery Time I have left. Two oh, there we go, two minutes. So to me, that's one minute. Flaps full. Gear down. Timer stop. So with one minute remaining, I'm going to bring this girl in. Whoa, that was really, really fast landing. <laughs> but she took it, and uh, the gear absorbed just perfectly like it's supposed to. Flaps, flaps zero. I don't know why I turned throttle cut on with a jet, but Cut timer stop. It's a good habit, I guess. So there we go. There's the Viper jet. Flew for... Uh... Oh, interesting. Timer says two minutes remaining. Oh, that's right. Now I'm just babbling. When it says two minutes, I think one. And I land. <laughs> so there we go. Good day of flying, two flights, no crashes, everything went well, not even anything really ugly to talk about. Oh, that landing was really fast, but uh, if I would have gone out further on my downwind and let the plane slow down before getting here, it would have been nice. But I kind of just, I made a tight turn, dropped the gear and just came in and slammed it down on the deck. But in the end, it's all good. It worked. All right, guys, that's it from the flying field today with my new GoPro head mount camera. I hope this worked, and I hope you guys can hear everything I'm saying and see the plane. So I'll go home and look at the video and find out.